Hello everyone, we will continue the topic persistence class and in the previous videos we studied that we never create a object of agent class or actor class outside the class. It is in the class itself. We only need to get the static or access the static attribute agent into our program or you can say outside the class. Once you will access the class underscore constructor method will create the object and we only need to get the object. Then after that, we explained in the debugging mode, but data is not reflected into the tables because whenever you will go for database operation, with the help of persistence class, they will not do the auto commit. You need to explicitly write the commit work. So I will write the commit work. Commit work means we want to save the data or whatever the changes we have into database tables. So I will simply, simply write here commit work. And I will explain in the debugging mode. So I have written commit work. Now what I will do, I will simply, simply put a breakpoint and we will understand the full execution in the debugging mode. I will execute. Suppose I am going for order number, suppose 890. Suppose I will pick some order date. Suppose today's date, I will go for payment. Suppose total amount 100. Suppose currency USD, suppose. I will choose the radio button insert. And whenever I will go to execute, start of selection event will trigger. I will go to desktop. And you can see. Firstly, class underscore constructor method, static constructor method called the object is creating. And yes, we are getting the object into our program. Now you can see if I will go this first radio button, first if condition is true, this is the same to same object. And this is single, single instance. Throughout whole execution, this object will remain the same. Now we are passing it to LO underscore agent. And you can see LO underscore agent. This is our object of the agent class or actor class. Now, now this object is created. Can I call the method create underscore persistent? Yes. So we are passing the primary key first. What is the order number? 890. The object of CL class is blank as of now. Whenever this method will execute, the object of CL class will create. Now the object is created. So can I call the setter methods? Because these all are your instance method. If I will go to our CL class, in CL class, these all are your instance methods. You can see these all set methods are instance method. So object creation is compulsory. And most, we have not created the object of CL class whenever we are calling the method of actor class or agent class the object of CL class automatically returned. Now we are setting the order date for that particular order number 890. Done. We set the order date. Now we are setting the payment mode. Yes, we set the payment mode. Now we are setting the total amount. Total amount we set. Now we are setting the currency, currency. See, 
as of now in the previous program we have not written the commit word in the previous video so data is not reflected into the tables now we have written the commit work so these all values will reflect into the database table now if i will do f6 and i will show you i will refresh and you can see we have the record in the database table so commit work is compulsory and any interviewer will ask you okay how how is your data once the program execution finish data reflected into database table answer is no you need to explicitly write the statement commit work after that only it will reflect into the database tables now the next important point next important point whenever you will go for database operation passing the right data or we can say validating the input is very very important because if you are going for wrong thing and there is no validation data will wrongly reflect into database table and that is a most most critical whenever database tables comes into picture your input should always always be validated and you all know how you are validating the input we are always always validating the input by which event we are always using at selection screen event that's why at the initial of the videos i told when i started the topic that we will make use of the events because this is database operation topic so validating the data is very very important now i will use at selection screen event to validate the input now as of now we are going for insert database operation so we will simply simply validate the data for the insert so what i will do i will simply simply go for the event at selection screen now we will go for insert if first radio button is equal to capital x i will go for and if now now just recall the previous or we will go for understanding in case of insert how you are validating we can go for inserting of a record it means we can only go for a order number which is new and which is not in the database table in case of insert suppose if i will go for order number 1 will order number 1 again go to database table it will not go because one is the primary key and it is already in the table so we can only only go for those order numbers in case of insert if they are not in the database table or simply i can insert the new order numbers i cannot insert the already existing order numbers now just to recall how you can check that the order number is existing in the table or not you are writing the query suppose simple i will simply write select suppose we are going for order number select order number from our order header table from order header table into suppose i am writing lv underscore o n o where o n o is equal to p underscore o n o i will write here select single you all know whenever i will put a single order number your input is a parameter so i will pass a single order number so i will get a single order number so that's why 
you can go for work area you can go for internal table it is totally your wish but we know whenever i will go for a single order number i will get a single order number and i simply put into the variable i will declare this variable data lv underscore o and o type data element of order number if you want more clarity on this you can simply refer the playlist of a bab programming but it's totally your wish if you want to select and bring the data into internal table it is totally your wish if you want to bring the data into work area it's totally your wish because work area store how many records always single record and we all know whenever our input is a order number i will get a single record into work area i took a variable itself because i am fetching a order number and i simply put into this particular variable now if the order number is in the table this query will give the size sub rc 0 if the size sub rc is 0 it means the order number is in the table you cannot insert the new order no you cannot insert that order number because that order number is already in the table suppose if i will put if size sub rc equal to 0 if the order number is in the table i cannot insert that order number i will simply write message e i will go to sc91 transaction code you all know that is the transaction code for message class i will go for change okay i will use this message 002 okay suppose i will create a message order number m percent already exists i will go for save now how i can call this message message e what is the message number 003 and what is the message class this is the message class so if order number is existing in the table this query will give the size sub rc 0 and i cannot insert that record suppose i will put a break point here i will run suppose i am giving order number 1 order number 1 is already in the table if i will choose insert radio button whenever i will click here or if i will press enter you all know firstly which event will trigger at selection screen because this event trigger whenever you perform some action on the selection screen so action can be enter action can be clicking on to the button suppose i am putting end so at selection screen event trigger i'll go to text top 3 first radio button capital x now when we are checking into the database table and yes lvo number 1 and size sub rc 0 when size sub rc 0 yes we got the message order number already exist now if you want to pass but the order number already exist into database table we'll simply simply write with p underscore o n o whenever you want to pass the values to the message number this is the way how we are passing if i will show you the result i'll just check okay i'll give the space
I will run. I'll just give the order number one. And you can see we are getting the message order number one already exists. And how this one reflected? Because we pass the value to the message number. If you want to write the query by using the internal table and work area concept, it is totally your wish. Suppose if you want to write this query by the work area or internal table concept, you can create. Suppose you can declare one structure types begin of LTY underscore data. We are only going for order number. So I will take only order number. I will end this particular structure. Now I will declare internal table and work area. I will declare work area. Now, same to same query, you can write in other two ways also. It is totally your wish. So you can simply write select single because we all know work area always stores single record and we are passing order number as a input is a parameter. So we always know single record will come. So I can write here work area also simply. I can go by this way also. It is totally your wish. Now, if you want to go by internal table concept, you can write in this way, select. Now, internal table can store multiple records. So we will not put single whenever we are going for internal table. I will simply write into table, internal table. So it's totally your wish how you want to go in this way because we all know single record is coming so i can directly put into work area if you are comfortable with internal table you can use internal table but this internal table has single record and we all know single order number so i can directly put into a variable also so this is totally your wish how you want to go so what is the summary of this particular video in this video, firstly, I explained that commit work is compulsory whenever you want to save that data into database table through classes. So we used commit work data saved. But in case of database operation, validating that data is very important. So we used the event at selection screen to validate the input. In case of insert, if the record is already there, you cannot insert. So we simply write the query. If size sub RC0, we gave the message. We created the message into message class and we provided the particular message. And you can write the query in any of these three ways. It is totally your wish. Now, in the next video, again, we will go for important way. We have written a query to check that the record is existing in the table or not. Same thing we will do with the help of class now. Because as we are using classes, so everything needs to be done with the help of classes only. So in the next video, I will show you how you can validate the input with the help of class itself. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.